SD-809 is an investigational new drug being evaluated in Phase 3 trials for the potential treatment of chorea associated with Huntington disease. The investigational product is not approved and must be reviewed by the FDA. Ospex anticipates submitting a new drug application seeking FDA approval in the future. There is no guarantee or assurance that such approval will occur in the near term or at all. SD-809 is not available for commercial distribution. Discussion in this video of products that are FDA approved is intended for background educational purposes only and not intended to imply that SD-809 is safer or more effective. Over the 14 years that my mother lived with Huntington's disease, the only time I ever saw my mother not move was when her heart stopped. I was just amazed at the level of unmet need. Uh, in these families and in these conditions. And we decided to focus the entire company on developing new therapies for these patients and their families. I was uh, deeply involved in the approval of tetrabenazine. Or one of the biggest limitations that we uh, dealt with when we, took the, um, when we took tetrabenazine to the advisory committee was overcoming the FDA's concerns about the safety of the drug, which were profound. The somnolence, the depression, this, this incredible urge to move which can be so uncomfortable for patients that they can't stand it and they have to they have to stop the drug or they have to reduce their dose. Many of these issues come from the inherent pharmacology of these drugs. Concerta is a great example. Prior to Concerta, patients with ADHD had to take multiple doses of daily medication. This caused up and down fluctuations in the blood levels of the medication and necessitated involving the school system. We developed a unique pattern of medication administration that sustained the efficacy of Concerta throughout the school day. I still remember patients and families telling me how much this product changed their lives and how thankful they were that we developed Concerta. There are many examples of central nervous system drugs that have been improved with alterations in pharmacology since then. SD-809 is a next generation investigational new drug for the treatment of movement disorders. SD-809, like tetrabenazine, is a dopamine depleter. Steady dopamine depletion gives you efficacy, but if there's too much or if it's too rapid, you get side effects. By creating SD-809 and making a drug with smoother blood levels, it has an effect on a drug so that it stays in an active form in the body longer. What that means to the uh, patients is they don't have to take it as often. I was taking these, these chemical changes, making these chemical changes to, uh, to drugs that have real limitations and really changing their profile, how they're absorbed and how they're um, broken down by the body. We've kind of taken the sharp edges off so it doesn't have these spikes in concentration. By being this late in the development process, they'll see this as, hey, this drug may be available to me in the next year or two. This is something I should be excited about. This goal of, um, of developing therapies that treat the symptoms now, we want to put that back into developing new therapies that can either treat the disease or cure the disease. Join the cause and develop better treatments.